Hey guys, it's Landon Blake with Redefined Horizons, and uh, it's a holiday weekend, and I'm messing around a little bit with uh, some C Sharp programming and JetBrains Rider and um, the Avalonia UI framework. Um, why am I doing this? Because uh, I like to geek out every once in a while. So anyways, I'm trying to get started. I, I, I haven't done this before. Um, I haven't used... So I've coded in C Sharp, but... <clears throat> Everything I've done before has been WPF for the for the GUI, and I, I'm I'm not a super familiar with JetBrains Rider either. I'm using JetBrains Rider because I need an older version of Video Visual Studio on my computer to be able to code plugins for Trimble Business Center. So, anyways, um, if you follow the instructions uh, to install Avalonia. Um, so to get the, the uh, to get the templates working, uh, if you go to the command prompt and just type in this command that's on the website, it's not going to work on a Windows computer at least. So if I type .net new install Avalonia .templates, uh, this doesn't work. Okay, and so I've done a little bit of troubleshooting and I, I'm able to figure out why. So let me show you what to do. So if you open up your JetBrains um, Rider IDE, so when you install JetBrains, if it doesn't find a .NET uh, and, and install of the .NET runtime, uh, it will install one, which is what it did for me. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to um, come in and uh, we're going to go ahead and open a, an existing solution. So you need to have a solution open. And then if you come up here, this is the new ID, the the new I'm sorry, the new um, user interface in JetBrains. So if you come up here and go to um, configuration settings, you can see right now for the .NET runtime for this project it says automatic. Mm -hmm. But if you drop that down, it'll give you the path to to where it's finding the .NET uh, or .NET Core runtime. So you can see where mine's at. It's under C Users Landon Blake. Okay, so you got to be in that path to get the .NET command to run. Okay, so I'm going to um, enter, uh, go to the command prompt. I'm going to enter CD for change directory, and then I'm going to enter that path. I just copied it right out of the dialog in JetBrains. Okay, so now you can see I'm in that path. Now, if you type, just as a test, if you just type .NET, you can see that it works. Okay. So we're going to try this uh, command now. So we're going to go .NET new install avalonia.templates and we'll see if this works. Okay, so it worked. It it went ahead and installed the uh, it went ahead and installed the templates. <clears throat> so now we should be able to do um, a, create a new uh, solution. So let's close out a you know what, before I close out of JetBrains, the other thing you got to do is you have to have the right plugin installed, the, the Avalonia XAML Previewer. So if you come into uh, File Settings and you go to Plugins here, um, and you can just search for Avalonia, you want to make sure you have this Avalonia Writer plugin in, installed. And uh, it's super simple, just click Install. Uh, but you'll have to restart your IDE. So let's go ahead. I'm going to restart it. <clears throat> and we'll see if we get our templates now. All right, so we're going to go New Solution. And uh, let's see here. So I'm looking for, okay, so down at the bottom here, so it's not under your desktop, but if you go down to the bottom now, you can see it's got, um, it's, it's got the Avalonia template. So let's just try this out. Let's, I've, had, I've never done this, so we're creating a, we're creating the project here. Okay. So uh, it went ahead and created um, hopefully we're going to get a preview over here. Let's give this a minute. It, it runs slow, guys, because I have my screen recorder going. Let me pause it. 
All right, so when, when I tried to preview here with the preview button, it asked me to build the application. I tried to do that. It's telling, telling me it can't find the, the .NET framework. So I thought, um, I thought this installed, uh, but apparently it doesn't. Uh, apparently it didn't install. So it's going to give me this link here to uh, install. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to try... Uh, I'm not sure which one I need here. I'm on Windows. Let's try the one for desktop apps. So I just downloaded that executable and I'm going to run it. Okay guys, so I got um, I got the .NET Core installed with that link. It was actually a pretty quick installer. And um, so you can see now when I come over and hit the preview button, I get my preview and if I hit the run button, it'll actually uh, run and build us a window. So uh, sorry, I'm having some trouble with my monitors here. So here's the window. Avalonia application one, it's got that sample text. And so, you know, we should be able to go in and change that fairly easily. So let's just say uh, test Avalonia, test number one. And then right here, we're gonna say, uh, hello, YouTube. Okay, we'll save that. and re re rebuild and run. Let's see if we see those changes in our window. Okay, so here's the changes in the window. Okay, so that worked. All right, so to, to, just to review, and I'll try to put this in the comments. So what do you need to do to get this working? Okay, install JetBrains Writer, and then uh, go into File, in JetBrains Writer, go into File, uh, let's see where was it at file settings go to your plugins install the Avalonia plugin okay restart the IDE okay then you're gonna want to um, install .NET Core uh, make sure that's on your computer I thought JetBrains Rider installed it it did not okay then you're gonna go into your project and go to the configure configuration and right here in your environments it'll give you the path to your dotnet executable copy that go to your command prompt change to that directory then you can run the uh, this command here dotnet install Avalonia templates create a new solution pick the template you want and that'll set your project up yeah you should if you have dotnet the dotnet runtime installed you should just be able to hit the run button and it should just work and it should also give you uh, your preview all right so I, I I hope this video helps somebody else <laughs> trying to get started with Avalonia C sharp and uh, JetBrains writer on uh, on Windows